that wasn't a good look for me. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I just wanna say hit that subscribe button. This week I thought I would do one of the big three topics for transgender people. The first of course is coming out. I've already done that video. The second one is a transition video. The third is reacting to my old boy pics. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this pic was taken this summer between my junior and senior year. It is actually my high school yearbook photo. And I also had something of a unibrow going. <laughs> And the worst thing is the scrub I had on my upper lip. I don't know why I thought that was cool. I think it just started growing and I just never bothered shaving it. This pic I really love. I actually call it my boy band pic. But a couple things I noticed about this pic are one, I look kind of sad. There's this thing about transition. They say that before, when you smile, it doesn't reach your eyes. I also found it a little mystifying why girls didn't seem to be into me at all. I actually kind of internalized it as that I was unattractive. So this pic was taken in 1992 when I turned 21. And I had come home from college because it was also one of my sister's sweet 16. Her birthday is actually two days after mine. My dad took this pic the moment the cake was put forward in front of me. And as you can tell, I am pissed. Growing up on my birthday, my parents save a little money and would put my name and my sister's name on our birthday cake. My sister has a multi-tiered sweet 16 birthday cake out in the living room. This year will be the year that I get my cake with just my name on it. My sister's name was on it. All right, this pic, I just, oh God, I wanted to include it so badly because it's me holding my son and he's a newborn he is one day old in this photo and he's just freaking adorable and I still look a little sad my eyes just are not smiling they don't they're not bright and twinkling and I also gained a lot of weight by then because I kind of figured you know what I don't really want to live very long okay now this photo was taken in 2007 at Disney World which is one of my favorite places in the world and I remember at the time thinking man I just want to be her and I just wanted to kind of get close to her because I just had this desire I wanted to be a princess too and I felt like I would never ever be a princess Princess. Obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, I thought really long and hard about sharing this photo because I find it really embarrassing. But this is me in my first attempt to be in real full drag. My ex and I had gone full out. We had actually bought honest to goodness, authentic cheerleader outfits because I had somehow convinced her that we would be lesbian cheerleaders for this Halloween. Hmm, a little bit of foreshadowing, I think. So that's a pretty awful wig, pretty awful makeup and stuff. I've heard some people tell me I look cute. I don't think I look cute at all. I also remember being really sad taking that off at the end of the night. It was like my one night of fantasy of who I could be was gone. And here I am wearing the orange version of it. And this time I think I look much more authentic and much more relaxed because that was me by then. And here I am in boy mode, but by then I already knew that I was transgender and was really a woman. And that is my very first estrogen pill ever. And that would be on October 6, 2010. And the other thing I noticed about this pic is I'm still wearing my wedding ring. It was a beautiful ring and you know, one day I do want to get remarried. This is actually the very, very last boy pic ever taken of me. You can see the awkward length of my hair. I had been growing it out since about August of 2010 and I hadn't really gotten too far yet. So it's my awkward adolescent years. All right, and now we hit the Maya years. And this is the very, very first pic of me in femme mode. And all I can think of now is like, damn, I look old then. I didn't have any style yet. <laughs> Not my best look. This photo was taken on the day I turned 40, which is only a few weeks after that first photo, believe it or not. And by then I was starting to get the hang of things. It didn't take me very long before I kind of figured out what made me comfortable and my own look. And believe it or not, from this pic to this pic, it was actually only seven months. The hormones had like a really profound and quick effect on my body that I really can't explain. Except to say that maybe this was all really meant to be. Almost exactly a year after that very first pic of me as Maya, this was what I look like. When I see this photo, I think about that previous photo, which only goes to show that there's always hope and you don't know what the future holds for you. And believe me, when I look like this, I never thought that one day I would look like this. I mean, wow, my life is different now. And I'm so grateful that my life has turned out this way and that along the way I've met some incredible people as well. I hope I haven't bored you too much by flipping through my photo album. And maybe perhaps a few of you have gotten some inspiration from this. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and see you around interwebs.